uh, consists of a mouse movement of, uh, we can say that earlier version of the SOLIDWORKS and the mouse movement of 2016, you will find a big, big, big difference. You can more focus, okay, on your design, okay, no need to worry about the SOLIDWORKS screen and all, okay, you focus on your design, this is the thing. You can maximize your screen, okay, so you will get it a big screen so that you can visualize properly, you can uh, have a real uh, image over there. You can uh, connect and share your insight. Whenever you have any, uh, we can say that doubts, you can just go to, with a few very fingertip, you can go to a community, share your thoughts, get the answer from that. So it's also be very easy. This design, uh, we can say that user interface is very innovative or very intuitive where user, uh, we can say that designers can more focus on their designs, okay. So let's have a, a few uh, enhancement on uh, sketch, okay. So uh, we know that uh, there are, uh, we can say that more enhancement in sketch and uh, it's always be, uh, we can say that whenever we are using a convert entities for offset and all. So we are having uh, some difficulty to reverse it and all. Suppose the convert entities for an internal loop, it creates, uh, okay, we have some challenges. But now this 2016 will give you the convert entities of the inside loop also. So this also be a very, uh, very interesting functionality. Uh, the, we can say that my favorite, I can say that one of my favorite is uh, selection of midpoints, okay. Earlier, uh, we need to select the line, select right click those, select midpoint, okay, which is, okay, I need to have a three, four clicks, okay, two clicks, why should I have to do the two, three clicks, okay. Now this 2016 give you the snaps of midpoint. So you need to select the line, you will always uh, get it at the two end points earlier, now you will get the midpoint also, select the midpoint select the uh, midpoint of the other entities or center of the other entities and you can have a mate, you can define the relations for this. So this also be a very, very interesting uh, functionality. Uh, instant 2D, okay, uh, earlier version we saw that, okay, the instant 3D, so we need to just move the, uh, we can say that the uh, mouse and we can get it the uh, dimensions to be get varied, okay, either we can have a, if it is a material removal or material addition through the instant 3D, uh, 3D. but now, the 2016 had been added with the instant 2D functionality where you can very easily edit your sketch. Okay, just define the dimension, drag it, you can define the uh, how much dimension you want to either enhance or reduce. So this also be a very, very interesting uh, functionality. The new, uh, we can say that equidistance uh, relation tools. Okay, normally what happen if suppose we have a circular pattern. Okay, we do the uh, circular pattern of any hole or counter bore. We need to create a one, uh, uh, hole with that uh, pitch, then we define the center, we define the PCD, and then we have a second uh, feature as a pattern for a circular pattern, and we like to do the patterns through that. But now this enhance utility where you can just define the PCD, define the location of that hole, and you can have a segment of that line, or a segment of that uh, circle, okay, whatever the construction circle you had drawn, so you can have a segment, either what, five, four, three, whatever the you want, you can, anytime you can edit that segment so that no need to use a pattern command. So this reduces the one step. Okay, so this also be a very good uh, enhancement here. Uh, many times, uh, so we required offset. Okay, offset entities, okay. And once we do the offset, either it will be internal or, or reverse. So two options are earlier available. But if suppose accidentally you had created some offset, uh, offset as a, uh, we can say that offset, define a reverse offset, and now we want to go ahead or we want to change that to the uh, inside, okay. So at that time, we have always problem. So we need to modify the dimension, and negative dimension is also be not possible earlier. But now, you can select the dimension and you can flip the dimension either inside or outside based on your requirement. Okay, so after defining the offset also, you can able to change that offset. So this also be a new sketch uh, functionality has been introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2016. So let's have a look of few functionalities from ourselves. 